we have now administered approximately 155,500 doses of vaccine in the province. More than 58,000 Albertans are now fully immunized with two doses. Over the last 24 hours, we have identified 415 new cases of COVID-19 and completed about 10,300 tests. Our positivity rate currently stands at about 4.2%. There are currently active alerts or outbreaks in 250 schools or about 10% of the schools in the province. Currently, these schools have a combined total of 854 cases since January 11th. There are currently 362 people in hospital with COVID-19, including 55 in the ICU. Sadly, seven new deaths were reported to Alberta Health in the last 24 hours. I'd like to address a situation that has evolved with Grace Life Church. For months, Alberta Health Services has attempted to proactively work with this church through education and conversations to make sure that church leadership understood the health measures in place and the rationale behind them. These attempts to reach out and provide support and education were not successful in bringing the church into alignment with COVID-19 prevention requirements. And enforcement activities then escalated to fines and subsequent orders from AHS that the church follow COVID-19 protocols to protect their community. Ultimately, I understand that the RCMP decided to take the pastor into custody as a result of repeated violations of public health orders. The pastor was scheduled to be released, but I am told he did not confirm that he would comply with conditions of his release set by the court. The judicial process, including conditions for release, are determined by the courts. They are not determined by Alberta Health or Alberta Health Services. While this situation is unfortunate, I want to stress that this is a rare incident, and I want to thank the vast majority of faith leaders and faith communities who have worked hard to protect each other and their broader communities by following the measures that are in place. It is routine practice for anyone who receives a vaccine to have documentation of that as it is a part of their standard medical record, and that will be true for COVID-19 vaccine as it would be for any, uh, you know, any medication that anyone receives. There's always documentation of that. The My Health Record portal is available to all Albertans and that will include their immunization record electronically so it can be accessed and printed at any time. And uh, at the time of immunization, there is a, a document that's also provided as typically would happen with, for example, our influenza immunization campaign where people are given a document that um, records the time, the date, and the particular lot number of the vaccine they received and that documentation, as I said, also goes into the electronic record system. The issue isn't for us to have the capacity as a province in being able to uh, provide vaccines and provide them quickly. It's the, the, uh, the changing amounts, it's the small amounts, it's the restrictions in supply that are the restriction on us getting vaccines to Albertans. Once we have a constant and steady supply of vaccines, we will be able to, through our pharmacies, through our family physicians, as well as through the, uh, the public health nurses and AHS, be able to get out as many vaccines as uh, we will be receiving in uh, the coming days. But look, if, uh, if there was any need for, if there was suddenly uh, an approval for uh, a vaccine candidate, um, that is currently waiting for approval from Health Canada and we receive um, uh, an unforeseen amount, we do have and we have built up through the, the last uh, couple months the ability for us to have that surge capacity as well. And in certain uh, innovations um, in, in having uh, rapid flow through clinics is going to be one opportunity for us. If we ever do need that surge capacity, we will do that. But th this, this really does come down to us not having the supply that would be needed to have the same amount of rollout that we could do for the uh, seasonal flu vaccine.